happy February guys thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel hello there I think the new year lull is behind us and we are getting back into the groove of things please excuse my absence if the, as things have been nuts around here but I am back with some great videos for you guys as you can see the thrift stores are also kind of out of their little January nap things are starting to fill up again the lull is behind us and I feel like pickings have been really good. So we are going to hit a couple different stores today, including a few different Goodwills and also the Animal Rescue Thrift Store. And I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I found. I've really been hitting the metal aisle up lately. I am looking for more copper. I know I wanna start using it in my kitchen. I'm just not quite sure how. I am really liking the old copper jello and cake molds, kind of like you see here. I'm just trying to think of a way to display them. I love the warmth of them. I love the shine, the way that the sun hits them. So trying to decide if I want to use them on a small wall is kind of like my big debate right now. A few other things I saw while thrifting. I did want to show you guys this adorable vintage cake carrier. They had $7 on it and it was really beat up. Um, if it didn't have as much damage, it might have come home with me. But I thought for that price it was a little much. You guys might remember I'm thrifting for a vintage booth that I now have as well. So I am buying pieces for the house. I am buying pieces for my eBay shop. And I'm also buying pieces to go into my vintage booth. I like to keep prices really low in that booth, so I have to buy really, really cheap to make that happen. This is a hair receiver that I found. If you aren't familiar with these, women used to take the hair from their hairbrushes and put them in that little hole at the top, and they would actually save all of their hair from their brushes to use in different upcycle projects. Bizarre, I know, but it used to be a really popular thing. I won't be doing that anytime soon, so I did leave that piece behind. I did like this cracker tray. I don't have anything specifically designated for crackers, so I thought that was really cute. This hall mixing bowl was nice. I do like those old heavy pottery bowls. I use them actually for storage in the kitchen. And that little pastel pottery piece I thought was super cute too. I don't know that we can do a video without showing false graph. I think it's kind of like the staple of every thrifting video. You have to show that it's at the thrift store somewhere, which isn't hard because I see it absolutely everywhere. One of the first pieces I bought was this little cruel kit apple tree. It was 99 cents. These sell really well online. I could probably get about $20 for this, which, you know, for only paying a buck, that's a, that's a quick little markup. So that did come home with me. I do have a couple cruel pieces in my house. So it's one of those things that if I don't sell it, I will be more than happy to keep it. cute little vintage hat. They did get a large fabric pile donation and unfortunately all of these were new pieces of fabric. Someone will be happy to find them, some crafter, because they were only around 99 cents each. But I was hoping to find an old piece or two in there, but not today. But still some really pretty patterns. I think I've told you guys before how vintage bed sheets from the 70s and 80s are really flipping well these days. Here was a pretty little strawberry set. They had $7.99 on that. Pioneer Woman tablecloth. I've been looking for linens for the house as well as for my booth. Very springy. 
I don't know what it is. I keep seeing Lady from Lady and the Tramp everywhere these days. If I can buy these for like under a buck, I do because I'm able to flip them pretty quick. This one had the tag, so it was $4. And there was also the little fabric softener bear. All of the kitchen items were half off today, so I really paid attention to that section to see what I could find. You guys know how expensive eggs are these days. These were actually wooden, and I want to say they had $6 on the whole bag. Those I'm kind of regretting leaving behind because I think I could have probably painted them and used them in decor. But um, I did leave those behind, and I did notice they were sold pretty quickly. So I think somebody else probably had the same idea. And it's time to think spring. I do have some plants that need to be repotted, so I am looking for really, really large planters that I can use for that. Even really large mixing bowls, as long as they're deep, that I can reuse for... Um, for replanting some of my plants that need a little more space. Here is a little pile of things I gathered. These, um, this little piece, it's like a metal plate carrier and there's also little hooks on it for mugs. I don't know if it's reproduction or old. I'm thinking reproduction. They had, I think, $5 on it. So I did go ahead and grab it because I thought it would be an adorable display piece. And then I did get each of these towels. They were half off, so I only paid 50 cents each. And they're these gorgeous little embroidered towels, kind of feed sack towels. So those for 50 cents definitely came home with me. This little egg cup was also half off, so I only paid 50 cents for it. I think that's going to go into my booth. I think that would be adorable for an Easter display. So I got those items and I did also get the little green glass vase. I like green glass vases for my family room. I put plant starts in them. So for just 99 cents, I thought that was very sweet. And that also went into my pile. But I was really excited about those towels. I thought those were just darling. Especially the bunny. That one might be hard to, that one might be hard to part with. Heading over to Goodwill, I just missed out on a pair of chairs. Um, they had already sold because someone had taken the bottom half off of the tag. I thought these were so gorgeous, and I think they had like $5.99 on each one. But between the spindle legs and the cane seating, the detail on the back, these would have just been beautiful. I would have used these at our dining room table but I did have to add them to this video, even though someone snagged them before me. I'm always looking for Afghans, mostly for resale. I thought the Tinkerbell pumpkin was cute. It's off season, maybe if it was more fall, I might consider her. This mirror definitely came home with me. I love gold mirrors. I love gold vintage mirrors. I have a wall of them in my dining room. That was $3.99, so um, it's kind of plastic. It's, it's very lightweight, so that did make its way into my cart. This little footed bowl was very sweet, um, but prices have been a little nuts lately. I mean, I think they had like $6 on that. And that's a little much for me to spend on decorative stuff. I did see this cute little dishware piece. They had $5 on that. But it would be cute to find a set of those to stack up. But lots of cute little pieces that I would just use, you know, to make little um, 
decorative setups but I mean even for really small pieces like you know the little teapots and stuff I just showed you I mean they've had $5.99 $6.99 on them and it's a little steep for me you know their prices are definitely going up I know we've talked about this quite a bit cute vintage cookie jar of a mouse $7.99 Poor guy did have a big chip in his ear. I've been looking for vintage Easter stuff. These little guys were cute. I thought they might be old, um, made in Japan, but it, they were just from Hobby Lobby. I do love the old metal teapots. Metal is really catching my eyes these days. But you guys can see at least there was a lot to look at. I hate when I go in and the shelves are just bare and I'm just in and out. Um, the baskets also, prices are getting kind of crazy. I did like that picnic basket you saw. I think they had 7 or $8 on that. But especially with spring and Easter, I like keeping my eyes out for some cute ones. But I just like paying a buck or two. Um, that top piece was really cool. But again, I think they had $6 on that. And of course, this little fellow is cute. They had $3.99 on him. Still seeing a lot of Ray Dunn pottery pieces in the stores. I like those little crab plates, but I would have wanted four of them. I'm just getting so picky these days. I guess maybe that's a good thing. That way I'm not bringing home so much stuff. I do check out Crystal when I see it just to see if it's signed. I'm always looking to see if anything's Waterford. Uh, those were not. But it's always good to check and just see if the Waterford name is sketched on the bottom anywhere. I like that mixing bowl. I didn't think it would be plastic though. I thought for sure it was pottery and it was not. I love these butterfly cocktail trays that have the tray along with the little coasters. I have never seen one in the original box before. This one did have the original box. But if you guys look, there's like mold all along the insides of some of the coasters and even a little on the tray. They had $5.99 for this. I debated so bad, but if you guys can see those, those like dark spots inside, it looks like something had spilled on it. And I had to leave this behind. It absolutely killed me. I'm hoping someone will be thrilled to find it, though, because otherwise this would have been such a fantastic find. So as you guys can see, I did find a few things on this trip. I am thrilled. Remember, like and subscribe if you like what you see. I do have more videos coming this week. I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. And as always, happy thrifting. I'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks for visiting. Bye-bye.